All right, welcome back everyone. So today I have a haul. I just got back from New York yesterday and I have some things to show you. So starting off, let's go with the most, probably one of the most exciting things I got. It's my Ivy Park sweatshirt. This is Beyonce's fitness line and I am in love with everything in the line. I want all of it. I need all of it in my life. But yeah, um, Sean and I celebrated our one year anniversary while we were in New York while I was doing some stuff for college. So I said that uh, this is what I wanted for my anniversary gift. I wanted some Ivy Park stuff, so he got me this sweatshirt and I'm in love with it. We had a field trip today and there's makeup on my hand, I didn't like it on the sweatshirt. Um, it's supposed to be like oversized. If I stand up, you can see my pants are falling down. Um, so this is a small and it comes like to the middle of my butt because I was gonna get a medium or a large and they were just too big. So if you want it really oversized, definitely size up. If you want it like normal size, I would say size down. Um, let's see. Um, and he got this at Topshop. So let's just finish off with the things I got from Topshop. They gave me such a big bag for two things. I don't know, Maybe this is the only size bag they have. But the other thing that he got me were these Ivy Park spandex shorts and these are a large because they have a little bit of booty. So um, it says sweat wicking, breathable, quick drying, and they were $36. So they're this really cool gray, white, and blue. And I'm gonna wear them with my sweatshirt when I work out and stuff, but they match my eye makeup. This was the inspiration for the day. So I love these. I haven't tried them on yet, but they're they're pretty stretchy and they don't, they're thick, so they're not going to be uh, see-through. They're like lined. They're almost like have a boxer band. So there is that. Then we did some shopping in Times Square. We were in the Greenwich Village area more, but um, we did go up to Times Square the night we got there. So I got things from the Disney store. Um, one of the things that uh, Sean actually picked this up for me because I love Vinylmations. He got me a Vinylmation and it's Mini Liberty and I'm going to pull it out because it actually lights up and I want to see it light up and I want to put it on my shelf. So let's open this bad boy up here. So I don't want to make too much noise. Apparently it was rubber banded in there, but I'm not really sure. Oh, I think this comes, yeah, the torch comes out of her hand. Where's my cat coming? Oh, wait, how does this work? Oh, when you touch. Thank you. When you touch the bottom of the torch it lights up. I feel like Sa Sasha, don't you dare. Um, she's gonna go off the camera. Like, Sasha! No! I don't know, because I have my window open. I don't know if you can... Does it... I don't... It was working. I don't know, but I like it, so I'm gonna put it on my little shelf. Yeah. No. Get down. So... Other than that, I purchased myself three little goodies. I bought some Sum Sums because I like, I really enjoy playing the game. It's a Japanese, well, it was started in like Disney Japan, but it's grown to be a much bigger thing now. So I got Pascal from Tangled, and he's wearing the dress, so he looks really angry and like PO'd, and he's got his little tail. So I really love him. And these were each like five ninety five a piece, kind of expensive, but you know, impulse buys. So I got Dumbo as well. He you know, shielded lights and everything. He kind of looks like he's sleeping and sad. And then I got Piglet, who's winking and looks really cute because I love Piglet from Pooh Bear. So I got these three. I could have, I really wanted to buy more if they would have had the um, Green Alien guy from Toy Story. I would have gotten them as well, but they didn't. Then I went to Forever 21. I always check out Forever 21, even though I do have one here. Um, my Forever 21 gets things a lot later than the one in New York. 
So I got this crop top and it's army green and it's got like these little lace ups on the side. I thought it was really cute and I'm really, I really like army green because I think it looks nice with my complexion and my eye. So probably gonna wear this with some high waisted shorts. And then I got a romper which looks like this. It's really, a lot of my rompers are really tight. Um, but this one is really flowy and I love this printed detail on the top. It's kind of crocheted almost. And then the bottom has these little um, crocheted details. It looks kind of sheer so I'm definitely going to have to wear the appropriate undergarments. Wow, I'm that pale that this is going to go. So yeah, and it crisscrosses in the back. And, oh, I didn't tell you how much they were. This was $15.90, and this was $24.90. So, probably two of the more expensive things in Forever 21. But, yeah, I, this is a large, by the way, and the shirt's a medium. And I, of course, went to Lush, because I don't have one of these at home. And it's much easier for me to buy new collections when... I can smell if I like it. So, let's start with this. This is easy. I got a shampoo bar tin. It's just one of these. It was like three bucks. Because I do have a shampoo bar and I don't want it to dissolve in the shower. So I got a little tin. Then I got, yeah, this is a bath bomb. I got Guardian of the Forest. And it's the really pretty, like, green and teal one I think it's purple in the inside and it actually smells really nice I like it I'm not sure what it's supposed to smell like but it smells kind of earthy not really herbally but very fresh I got a luxury bath oil which they just revamped these so this is floating island and it's got a little piece of well it did have a piece of vanilla in it there we go, I'll stick it back in there, but it smells really sweet and nice. So you pop this in the bath and it melts. This video is gonna be long, I'm gonna have to edit. Then I got a bubble room, which I've never tried a bubble room in Yuzu and Coco. It smells like chocolate covered oranges. This is my favorite scent from Lush. I'm so excited to use that. I have some stuff downstairs that I need to use first. Oh, I also got the fresh face mask in Cupcake, but that's in my fridge because you have to keep it in the fridge. But it looks like chocolate frosting and it's good for acne prone skin. And I got that for free because I turned in uh, five of the little pots. And the last bath bomb I got was Butterball. Because I got one of these over the winter and you guys can see it just says Lush on it. I really like how moisturizing it was, but that was Butter Bear. And the last thing I got was the Yuzu and Coco shower cream. And this medium sized one, the bigger one was like 20, no, this was 26 bucks. And the bigger one was like 48. So I feel like these are really expensive. And it's like that with all the things from Lush. Like the little containers are like $11. And I usually get three to four uses out of those. And the big things are like $45. And yeah, you get more uses out of it. But it just seems like a lot to pay for something that, one, expires before you are really going to use it all. And two, something that is, I don't know, it's a bath product, you know, like it's not like food where it's providing you nourishment. It's like a luxury, but I don't see it as a luxury item. I don't know. My own personal thought. So this last thing, I'm holding on to my bed because I'm trying to grab this bag um is not from New York but something I got H&M and pertinent to the scene I got a new swimsuit and it is looks like this it is a they had two styles of this I wanted the other style but they did not have my size so I got this style and it's the bandeau it has underwire in it so lots of support if you're bustier and it is this pretty floral pattern and it wraps all the way around it just has a um, 
hook and eye kind of closure. So it looks like this, and it's a like like I said, a bandeau, but it twists in the middle, but it's pretty ruchy. I wanted the one that had like was a halter, but this one comes with straps as well. I just like the thicker straps; it makes me feel like I have more support. And I got the matching bottoms here, and I like that their bottoms I have the guts. Um, actually cover your butt. I found it's really hard to find ones that aren't like super bootylicious. Like if there's a little bit, it's all right, but you know sometimes it's too much. And this was twelve ninety nine, and this is I'm a size eight in bottoms for forever or not forever twenty one for H and M. And then the this was seventeen ninety nine. I think that's everything that I had. Yeah, I didn't actually spend that much money this time in New York. Um, I think I spent like a hundred bucks, hundred and twenty. So yeah, I bought no makeup. Go me. I did go into Mac, but didn't find anything. So yeah, um, that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.